community is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. It is easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of the holiday season sometimes. It seems as if we're all running from one place to the next. That's right, but for the local blood services, it's business as usual. And this time of year is when blood donations are at a critical low. Community Blood Services of Illinois' Ashley Morgan is here with some more details. So this is kind of a challenging time for, uh, for the blood banks. Yeah, so it's the winter months, so things like weather can play a factor into people not being able to get into the donor center or having to cancel blood drops. I mean, recent snow has happened in some of our areas, so that can cause people to not be able to get in there. And then school is out, and with high schools and colleges, that's about 15 to 20 percent of our blood donations come from those. So when school's out, well, we still need to recoup those donations and have people still come into the center for us. So it's less about... Uh it's not really the demand goes up, but it's people's ability to give goes exactly. down. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, we, the demand does go up around the holidays, but I mean, a lot of that does have to do with the fact that people are gone, they're on vacations, but we're still here and still want to make sure we keep our hospital supplied. So we're definitely looking for blood donations uh, right, right about now. So you have some events coming up, actually one partnering here with us. That's with WCIA. you guys, yeah, our big media drive with WCIA. It's in honor of Dave Benton and Robert Reese. That is happening on December 27th and you can come to the Urbana Donor Center um, on University and then also at Lincoln Square Mall. Lots of, lots of places There's lots where of you places. Can go. Yeah, that's just here. There's a lot of places. We're going to be in Mattoon and Danville. There's a lot of places you can go to give. For those who've never given before, I did for the first time maybe six months ago or so. What, well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I almost passed out but didn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something I had eaten or not eaten, as the case may be. That's what it was. Yes. Uh, what is the process like for those who don't know? Like, sure. What am I getting into? Sure. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour um, from beginning to end. You come in, you register, make sure you bring a photo ID. Um, you'll answer questions on a health history questionnaire. You know, how are you feeling today? Have you traveled to the certain places recently or on certain medications? Um, then you go to your screening process, and then you go to your donation chair, which uh, that process takes about 10 minutes. The more hydrated you are, the quicker it goes. So Thanks for telling you, me now. Drink a lot of water <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and eat before you donate. It's very, very right. important. Yep. Um, and then afterwards, you hang out for about 10 minutes, get your cookies and your juice, and uh, you're, no, you just saved about three lives. Wow. Yes. One so, person can save three lives? Yeah, one blood donation can save up to three lives. So that's why we really encourage people to come out. Um, it's a voluntary thing. We can't pay you to donate blood, but we can give you cookies and treats instead. <laughs> and uh, it's a great way to get out there and volunteer for the community, and it doesn't cost you any money. Well, and it makes you feel good knowing that you're probably helping someone exactly. else who really needs, needs your donation. So you mentioned you needed an ID. Is there an age limit? You need to be 16 years old with a consent form. Parents can sign that consent form when they come to the donor center and then 17 and older you're good to go um, but just any kind of ID so for a, if you're in high school we take your you know your school ID card or um, driver's license or things like that and how often can you do this is there a sure. time you have to wait I would uh -huh. assume? yeah you have to you can donate blood every 56 days which is about every eight weeks or so okay, okay. yeah interesting right. so, so since it's I'm been six months yes. it looks like we're gonna get you back I on have, the schedule uh, I have gotten a couple of phone calls okay. about that all right so I, will, <laughs> I will eat before I come this time and you'll I think drink it was lots a, of water <laughs> Is there, is there a certain type of blood that you're looking for over maybe others? Are there so, people out there who you really need to come? I mean, we need all blood types. All blood types are very important, but if you are an O positive or an O negative and you know it, come on in. Um, o negative is the universal donor, so in a trauma situation, that's the blood type people get right away before they get blood typed um, at the hospital. What blood type okay. are you? you know? I'm a universal donor. Are you well, really? Well, look, okay, looks know. like we're going to do it together <laughs> with you guys. And the only reason I remember is because it's A+, plus, and it's the only time I've ever gotten an A+, plus in my life. So. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we're excited to partner up with you. To thank you so much. Make we're very difference. excited. It's coming nice. up December yep. 27th, so if you're unable to come that week, just make, make an appointment. Yeah, make it um, walk in. Yeah. Anything's fine. That's right. Well, Ashley Morgan. All those details. CILiving.tv. Thanks for being here. Appreciate that.